All right, so I've heard from a few people that I should look at today's daily squirtle. Um, I'm not doing the weekly squirtle yet. That'll probably be later this week, but I'm gonna look at the daily squirtle. Now, if you're not familiar with squirtle, it's like Wordle, but we're trying to guess six different words that are kind of in this grid shape. And there's some stuff with the coloring. So look at the logo here, which will kind of give you some clues. The arrows are the important thing. That'll, that'll help you know what the different colors mean. Otherwise, look at the rules on the website, link in the description. And I'm gonna get started. Let's see, let's do, you know what? It's uh, graduation time and final exams are happening this week. Let's do final. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was a good start. And exams. Okay, that was less good. Not surprisingly, on the X there, but the S is a surprise. There's no S's in the grid. That is interesting. Let's see, I'm gonna hide some of these clues here. Okay, the, the duplicate ones I'm hiding. There's no I. No I in the grid, no S, that's interesting. So, we do have an E. Now this could be an E here because, not necessarily there, but we do have an E in the first row and the first column, so that seems pretty good. This could be something like equal. That would be good. This would start with a U then, but, you know, that's possible. Now interesting, we do have an A in the middle row and column as well. Ooh, if that is a U, this is going to have an E, U, and A in this middle column. Hmm, not sure on that. Okay, well, we'll see. Uh, let's see, what happened? Let's discuss another thing with some letters we haven't used yet. Uh, we could do something like doubt or... No, let's do cough. I think cough is better. I like the C and the GH better. T would be good, but let's go with cough. Okay, I guess I should have been doubt. So there's no U, so that I guess that was good then, that we know this is not equal up here, because there's no U in the grid, no G in the grid, we have all kinds of um, black letters today, so, ooh, okay, there's an O in one of these two, so if that's an E, this is probably not an O, but, yeah, yeah, this would have to, so, right, if this was an O, the E would have to be first. I don't think that's a thing, so I think this is gonna be an O. Now, I'm not gonna say it's a for sure yet, because it could still be up there, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that's an O. So it's probably not AA over here. So this orange A is probably pointing to the right. You know, this word over here doesn't have an O or a U, so it could be an A right there. Potentially. All right, let's go back over here because we, we're on the first row and column right now. This word has an N and an E and a C. So if that's E up there, N down here would probably be good. Would be good. Uh, oh, and the N and the C are not at the top because of the white N and C here. So N could be down there and maybe a C here. Hmm. Maybe that's not an E. I don't- I'm not liking the E there. This could be something like pecan, though. And then this could be... Ooh, this could be like... But then- then the O could be at the top. No, because the E- this has to be an E then, if that's a P. Right, right, right. If the E is not first, it has to be second. In this first row. But this could be... what would that be? I would say penal, but we don't have an N there. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> so maybe not pecan. What if this is E and this is C? What would that be? E C something A N? No, I don't like that either. I don't know. I'm thinking I might guess pecan because we know there's an E in both of these words. No. Deacon. Let me go with deacon because. No, I thought that doesn't work either. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess pecan. It's fine. It was pecan. Ooh, okay, awesome. Oh, and there's E, oh, yes. Okay, so up here, it is P-E something A-L. Petal, petal, we haven't done a T yet. Oh, oh, actually, it could be a D also, couldn't it? Could be a T or a D there, petal or petal. Okay, cool. All right, so this, uh, this is, so this is definitely an O. This is a for sure now, an O. Because of this red O here pointing up. There is an A. We don't know where. I, I was kind of thinking at the end, possibly, but uh, this can't be comma. Can't be Coco because of the C up here. 
Now right here in the middle cannot be an E because of the red E. It can't be an A because of the orange A. Uh, it could be another O, I guess. C-O-O. -O, but... Don't know what that would be. Uh, it can't be an I, and it can't be a U. So if it's a vowel, it would have to be another O. So it's probably a consonant. This could be, what could this be? Ooh, this could be like Cobra. Cobra would be good. We haven't done a B or an R yet. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Cobra, I think. Well, or am I? This word has an E. Yeah, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna do Cobra. We got a B and an R we haven't done yet, so that'd be good to get those letters in there. And we know there's an A in the row and the column. So let's try that. Oh, it was Cobra. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that worked out well then. Okay, now, so this is a B. The A is not fifth, it's not third. Uh, uh, so it's not gonna be first, it's a D or a T there. So this could be an A, that could be good, because this is a consonant up here. So if this was a T, for example, this could be table, table. This could be an L and an E, that wouldn't be bad. Table, this here, now this is interesting because this is L something A. Now I don't think that's gonna be a consonant, but it can't be an O, I, or U, so it would have to be an A or an E, and L, A, A doesn't seem good, so I think that's gonna be an E. L, E, A, it could be something, oh, okay. and we can't have an S, so it can't be like leads. It could be, I don't know, what would that be? L, E, A, learn? Learn, no, there's no R here, because of the white R there. Lept, this was a P and a T, that's a tricky one. This is then, hmm, I don't know. We don't have much on this last row and column. Um, let's see, so we don't need to do the L or the A or the N. So we could do something, is there something that's something E, E, P, T? I don't think there is. We could also try a Y at the end, potentially. It'd be nice to try this E and this E and P here. All right, I'm just gonna do left. I think I think that has a decent chance over here, and we wanna see if there's an E here, but the E here will at least tell us if there's an E in the row, so it's something. Okay, it was L-E-A, but it's not left. Okay, so, and there is an, oh, there's an E there. Oh, oh, this could still be an E though. This could be needy. Oh, I should have done something with a Y because this could be leafy and needy. Ah. Table, leaf, okay. I think I think that's, that's what I'm thinking now. Okay, so pedal is right. And then we want to do table, table which is right. And now we're gonna have to do both of these because you can't do the D and the F. So we'll just do needy and then leafy and there we go all right shoot if i had thought for a few more seconds i may have come up with leafy and needy because i had i had the idea of a y in my head so that's all right no big deal still ended with five guesses remaining so that was good so petal cobra needy pecan table and leafy there we go very neat so i don't think there's any unusual words in there i think probably all of those are familiar to most people hopefully so if you don't know what any of those are leave a comment down below and we'll give you a definition but otherwise let me know how you did with today's squirtle and be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon with some more puzzles i'm gonna go ahead and guess mocha i like that guess oh it's mocha and the a is green over here ha <laughs> ha ooh, ooh, you know what we could do Khaki, that would be really good with a double K. If the O isn't second, it has to be last, but that seems less likely, so C-O something S-E. Uh, oh, Barcelona, we're in Barcelona. Okay, so we are in Spain, there you go.